Hello everyone, it's Brian with Spiritual Kings. At this time, I would like to talk about why I believe you should uh, start a home gym. I'm going to give you a little tour of my home gym here and show you a little bit what I have. And I'm going to tell you why I think you should do this. So as you can see here, uh, this is my home gym. Okay, this is the garage door I uh, made. You see where I sprayed it with uh, foam insulation and then it had kind of a funny color. So I decided to paint it with this cool color spray paint and I used uh, the glitter on there. It looks really neat. So it's great for taking photos and things like that. You see, I got the whole ceiling with the spray foam and new LED lights. So um, it just uh, gives it a cool look. And of course it creates an insulation in the winter time so I can work out and it's warm and uh, the draft doesn't come in because that's very important when you're working out. You don't want to have like warm temps and then like cold drafts because then you can catch a cold or just get the sweats you don't want to do that so i've got it nice and insulated because i do live here in the midwest in chicago so that's something you might want to consider if you're building your home gym uh you can see here my first piece of equipment this here is my um this is my lower ab uh, abdomen core workout machine here and this is a machine that you would put your feet in there and then you sit here and you could do your abdomen workout your core your back there's all kinds of uh, things you could do there and uh, you see here, I've got my little tripod for my shooting cameras. So that's just one little piece of equipment here. You see you move over here and I've got my elliptical. I bought this on a, uh, a marketplace deal. I got it for a deal, rented a trailer, got it in here. I'm not a big, big fan of elliptical. I prefer jogging anymore, but at least in the winter when it's really cold, the conditions aren't working, I can jump on the elliptical and uh, it, it helps a lot. Get, gets my uh, sweat going. See, I roughed in some electrical cords here so I can plug all that in. Um, you see over here, I have got my uh, my bands and different things here hanging. I got the hooks appropriately uh, appropriately placed here, and I got everything hanging up here so it's easy access. Okay, uh, here I've got a cabinet for just storage and just some general things I put in there. Uh, down here, you can see I've got my weight rack here, my dumbbell rack. I've got different uh, items up there. It's just great. Uh, my abdomen, uh, my roller, things like that. Um, so this is obviously a vital piece. I do eventually want to upgrade this over here. You can see I've got my, uh, uh, these are my dumbbells. These are the sectional ones with the different weights. I'm actually going to buy a stand for that today because I don't have a stand. That's a little bit of an issue, but uh, something else I have there. I did change the window here and I got my, my cords and everything here from my, um, my Bluetooth speaker. Uh, you want to keep the place looking good, so dress it up the best you can. You see, I upgraded all my lights here. I got LED lights here. Got these from Costco. They discontinued these, which is a little bit of a bummer, but uh, these are great lights. I used to have them old ballast lights. Those are awful. Uh, now I got these uh, lights here, and I tell you, just all the difference in the world. It feels like a, a basketball stadium in here. The way it's lit up, it's really cool. Adds a lot to the energy. Gets you going. You want to have a well lit place. Um, see here, I've got my. Excuse me here. I've got my uh, leg press here. This is a very, very, very important piece of equipment here. Okay, sorry, I'm getting that wrong. So this is my leg press here. Okay, and you see over here, uh, this is where I do put all my weights on here. Okay, it's my leg press, and this is a very important important piece of equipment a lot of gyms won't even have those but you want to have a balance in your workout when you're doing your weight training you want to have a, your upper body hopefully match at least your your lower body you want your legs to look good you often hear people complain that guys have big upper bodies and chicken legs and uh i got the leg press because i want to create some balance in what i'm doing and my body over here i've got all my uniforms and i think i wear for my social media and just things i like to wear when i'm working out i made this little rack here with some gas pipe fittings uh and i got some props here so that's pretty neat. Uh, you want to have that easy accessible in your garage rather than going out of your house all day. See here, I've got my road bike. This is one of my favorite assets here, and I like to keep it inside. It keeps it protected from the weather. Okay. And, of course, over here we have our cable machine. This is our multi-machine with a Smith bar. This is for squatting and different exercises. And then, of course, you get the different weights here, and I incre increased all. I bought all these things on Amazon here, different accessories. Um, this is a very, very important piece of how I work out. This is, uh, if I would have one piece of equipment, it would probably be this thing because you could do so many different exercises from rows, cables, lats, all this stuff you could do on here. Just, uh, you could do almost complete body workout, even some leg uh, workout. So this is an important piece. Got a Costco, got a really good deal on it. Bought it just when they had a $500 discount, so I hit the jackpot with that. Um, you could see here I upgraded all the wall paneling. And I painted this paint, this heater, uh, looks to be an awful brown color. Now I painted a neat color gray. And instead of doing all drywall, I decided to keep it simple. And I just got floorboard from Home Depot and flooring. And then my guy came and hung it up on the wall. So it's got this cool look to it. Um, okay. 
You can see over here, excuse me, I got some other piece here. My, my, my uh, welder made this custom rack, and this goes to my bench over here. Different pieces for the leg, the, ladder, the dips, tricep dips. There's a curling uh, platform there. Uh, I had this built, and of course, I got the mirrors, and very important. I'm going to continue to upgrade the mirrors and do more with the mirrors. But mirrors are important because you want to look at yourself in the mirror. Not to be vain, of course, but you want to look at your structure when you're working out. You want to make sure you get your, you know, everything's going right. So mirrors are very important. Um, I'm eventually going to put more up. So I would say if you're going to do your own home gym, uh, put mirrors up because you want to know what you're looking like when you're doing your exercises. Got my little stainless steel garbage can. Of course, you got to play it safe in case anything would go wrong. Always want to have a, one of those. A uh, little fire extinguisher. And then, of course, over here, you got your thermostat. I actually have a real working uh, heater in here, which I didn't think when I bought the home uh, was working. But then, I, to my surprise, I found it just needed a little tweak, and now it's working. So you got more LED lights up here. These are really cool. My neighbor pointed out that they look like little windows, and I think they are. They're really cool. They look like little windows. Here, got my punching bag. This is a great little piece here. Keep the cardio up, work on a little self-defense, just keep your fitness up. And it's good to just uh, good to just let out some, uh, some energy, pent up energy and hit that bag once in a while. It's got the nice base here. This is a real nice one. I got a crazy good deal on this on the marketplace. Um, got me a little fridge here. Bought this from Menards, about 280 bucks, maybe 300. Just an awesome little piece. Keep my cold drinks in here. This one I have to go in and out of the house, especially when it's raining or there's weather conditions. Here got me a little, I took one of my outdoor furniture pieces and put my little love seat here. Got a little table, a little bistro table here for just setting items on there. And of course, another light. This is just uh, great. I see you can sit, read books, read scripture in the morning and, uh, and just awesome to have a place to relax in case you have company in the house you just want to get away so it's maybe not a good idea to make your make your gym comfortable don't just make it all uh, gym like make it comfortable you can come here and read and do different things like that this is my other piece here uh you can see this is my reverse hyper i've showed you this machine before this is for back and i have this machine here as well and of course no gym would be complete without a uh, bench and i have a bench press here bench press machine i've got a uh, this eventually needs to be upgraded. It's kind of a cheaper one, but it works for now. You got my Olympic bar, got my weights, and of course I've got my shoulder uh, machine here. This is that one that hangs on there. So obviously, you know, you have to have all the um, different pieces if you want to have a um, a well-balanced gym. And this, of course, is just my bench. That's what all those other accessories are for. This is a really nice bench. You can do sit-ups, all different types of things on here. Uh, no gym is complete without a bench or two. You have to have that. And of course, over here, I've ordered these towels off Amazon. These are gray towels. Uh, I like the gray ones. I keep them in this little bench. I ordered about a dozen of those. These are great for sweat, cleanup. Uh, you want to have these on hand at all times. Of course, wash those regularly. And I just have a couple other odds and ends here. Um, that said, I really suggest everyone, if you have the possibility to build a home gym, whether you use your garage or your basement or a spare room, the main reason being is that it's just about convenience. And you don't want to lose motivation having to go to a gym. Uh, there's been times I got in the parking lot, it was cold and rainy, and I just didn't even go in. Now, I'm not saying that's a valid excuse, but you want to stack the deck in your favor as best as you possibly can. And home gyms are just awesome. Yes, they're a little pricey. Uh, investing in the equipment can be costly, but remember, you had to have the Facebook Marketplace, places like OfferUp. Uh, obviously, you can get deals on equipment. A lot of people are often selling them because they're moving, they're relocating, they lost motivation, they've had an injury, a sickness, and uh, they just can't use the equipment anymore. So there's a ton of great stuff on the Facebook Marketplace. You don't, you can almost build your home, your whole gym with used equipment, uh, but you can always, you know, buy new if you want if you have the budget. But I just think the biggest factor is. It's about motivation and consistency. I never have to question if my gym is open or if I'm on time. I don't have to go there and deal with egos, you know, walking through long parking lots and bad weather, uh, worrying about my car being broken into, which happens a lot at gyms. Um, I could just make my blender drinks minutes after I finish my workout at home at the convenience of home, save myself a bundle of money, have all the supplies in my own home, uh, my own drinks, cold drinks. And obviously there's just convenience after convenience and incentive after incentive. My biggest uh, hope for everyone is that if you wanna get in shape and stay in shape and you have the means, try to build at least a small home gym. Um, you wanna get as much items in there as you can. Obviously focus on the things that you like the most. I'm eventually gonna keep enhancing this gym and add about two or three more pieces of equipment because I have the space. Um, 
I should also mention one other thing. You see, you got the rubber mats down and throughout the entire gym. These are the three quarter thick ones with the with the dimples on the bottom, so they don't mold. Um, you want to put some kind of a good flooring. You can do rubber tile, rubber mats. There's a few different things. You could do with that. You can always hit me up uh, and I can tell you where to get those kind of items, but you want to make it comfortable and you want to make it look the part. You want it to be durable. You want it to be sturdy. And uh, that's so I do uh, say that if you are going to build a gym, try to get the floor uh, up to snuff because you're going to be dropping weights and equipment on there and, and working on in there. So you want it to be in good, a good, a reasonable shape. So um, that's just my video for today. I wanted to encourage people that if you can build a home gym, because I promise you there are so many benefits, the convenience, the motivation factor, and just you're going to save a lot of money over time. And if you're very serious about getting into this, it is a great, great idea. This is one of the best things I've ever done when I sold my other townhome. I only had a smaller garage. I came here at a two car garage. Um, yeah, I would like to park my car in here in the winter, but we only get about 20, 30 days where the snow is that bad. And you know what? I just deal with it. Um, if it's absolutely that bad, I can move a couple pieces of equipment in, out of the way and at least pull the car in here for a night or two if I have to. It's not convenient, but at least I have that option. Um, it's a great, great idea. I think anyone who has the means, the space, uh, who can do it, I think you should do it because it's just, it's just awesome. I never have to worry about ever not having the accessibility or time because I could just come out here any given day of my life and come out there and do it. So that's my that's my uh, little gym tour for today. Uh, if you're interested in any more uh, help or advice with this, please feel free to hit me up in the comments section. I'll be happy to share any advice uh, that I can offer you. So thank you all and God bless.